we're coming into fucking uh, immigration in the UK. And obviously, this is like, what, I want to say 2009? Maybe, or 2000... And, no, 2000, it's got to be 2009. 2000, wait, or maybe so 2008. Land 79 was... In, in, are you talking about Land 79? Because I think that was 2012, I want to say, bro. 2011, nah, 2000. It definitely, it definitely wasn't that late because it was it before was StarCraft 2 was out. And StarCraft 2 was out in 2010, so... That's what I'm telling you. It's like 2008 or 2009, for real. Um, but anyway, so we get to immigration. So you have the giant Cyclops man and Mo. <laughs> who I don't know if you know, you know, Mo, Mo's got Middle Eastern heritage, right? <laughs> and it was a strange time in the UK. <laughs> uh, so these immigration c c come up and uh, Mo, right, they go, oh, hello. Um, so who are you? And Mo's there. And he goes, um, he goes like, oh, yeah, you know, nice to meet you. My name's Mo Assad, you know. And uh, Dar Dar Darren's there. And um, this, these cops on, on the border are eyeing Mo up and down. And they go, so uh, uh, what do you... I had a really long hair. I had a big beard. My yeah, hair was he the was longest looking... it was. I looked like I was being smuggled in. Oh, yeah, he'd gone full Mujahideen. <laughs> it's a fashion statement. Like, I don't even know why. He just decided, like, to fucking just... You know what I mean? Like, he had it all. He had, like, pet saying... goat. Fucking, you know, and he went full... <laughs> Full fucking, he had this just massive beard and like long hair. It was so insane. So it was like he was just fully fucking accentuated like this on the border, right? So this fucking border cop is just eyeing fucking Mo up and down like this, like, and I'm in the back, like, and and, and Darren's like saying everything all right here, and and the officer's like putting his hand up, going, just stay in the vehicle, sirs. We're just gonna go and we're just gonna ch check a few things. So they went away. They checked. They checked like Mo's passport and stuff, and then they come back, and now they're starting to question Mo. Um, you probably realize this about Mo, like, he's the fucking, you know what I mean? He's not the fucking brightest, like, when it comes to, like, understanding what a situation he might Bro, be listen, in. We... No, listen, listen, listen. Making jokes in serious situations is my specialty. Dude, it was, this was fucking dumb. It wasn't even a joke. They said to him, like, um, so what do you do? And he goes, oh, I'm, I play video games, like, professionally. And the guy's like, what do you, what do you mean you play video games professionally? Because this is, like, esports isn't even big back then. Like, no one's fucking heard this shit, you know what I mean? So he goes to play video games, and he's like, oh, you know, you know Counter-Strike? And he literally says, the game with the terrorists in. I shit you not. <laughs> I shit you not. He says that to fucking Border Patrol police. <laughs> wow. Like, I, it's just mad. I'm in the back, like, Christ, we're all going to get killed. Like, I we're all I dead. Know, it was unreal. He said, you know, the one with the terrorists in, and we're just looking like... He said the fucking T <laughs> word. Like uh, we're all looking at each other in the back, like it's me and like, all the other you don't CS say players. Bomb on an airplane. You don't say terrorist on in custom. You, no, you definitely don't. So the guy goes, "Excuse me, sir," and he goes, "Yeah, Counter Strike. It's Counter Terrorist versus Terrorists. It's like a professional thing. It was on TV." And then Darren pitches in, "Yeah, yeah. What he fucking means is <laughs> like so he's uh -huh. trying to like rescue the situation." <laughs> the guy goes back again. Now two fucking police officers. These are armed officers. They have machine guns. Two officers walk back to the van now, and they just stood there. One's got his hand on his gun. The other's got his head through the fucking window. So anyway, Darren says, "No, no, listen, listen here, fellas. You've got all our fucking ID, right? And I, I'm, you know, I, I don't want to get all up in your fucking face, but I think what's happening here is what we call fucking profiling, <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, how's this happening?" So now, now we've been explicitly told stay in the vehicle. We've been explicitly told stay in the fucking vehicle, and Darren just starts getting out. Two armed fucking guards at border patrol, and Darren's no, 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 I'm not having this. This is fucking racist or something. He starts opening the fucking door and getting out the car, and he's going, "We're gonna have a fucking word, you and you, used to, and me are having a fucking word because what you're doing is fucking outrageous." And I'm like, Darren, they've got guns, mate. Like, you know, <laughs> sure, you could you could probably soak up more bullets than the average human, but I think the bullets win. So he fucking gets out of the car. We see him just walk away with these two armed guards, and Darren's going fucking spare, red in the face, shouting. It's fucking mental. And I'm like saying to Mo, like, why have you done this? <laughs> like, all you have to do is say, hi, sir. My name is Mohammed Assad, and I would very much like to come to the UK with my very valid paperwork. And Dude, when they I ask you what you do, you American say I work citizen, in media, bro. and you sit there silently. I that is American it. American citizen, bro. That's all that. I know. I, I know. I showed my passport. What more do they want?
Mm. I did it. I didn't have the look. That they were. I wasn't. Listen, the, uh, I looked like an undesirable at that time. No, it, it, mate, it was. It, Darren was completely right. They were full racially profiling. You with some of the most racist shit I've ever seen coming through customs. It was, like, no, it was accepted no back then. It was accepted. So it doesn't surprise me. Like only him, only him, could have fucking fell on glass bottles. Like it's a simple task: carry glass bottles from house to van. <laughs> only, <laughs> only win could be like I fell on all the bottles. Like fucking sound, sound man. I fell on them and nearly killed myself. Like I don't, I don't how. Like how do you do it? Like how the fuck do you do it? Like. How do you do it to this day? I don't know how we did it. Obviously, I was full crying and scared, like <laughs> blood everywhere. And, like I was just, ah, at the time, like, it's a horrific, traumatic memory for me, right? But like, obviously, as well, now that I'm older and I've seen some other shit, it's like, what a fucking idiot, what a prat! Like it's beyond a joke. Speaking like, of fucking the joke. dumb actions, but did I tell you the time yeah. that I almost blinded myself as a child, but of sheer low IQ, <laughs> but. I was I had a, lamp, what? Like, a Harry Potter lamp. I fucking remember specifically, but it was big and Harry Potter time. I was looking over it, down into it, like, whoa, what's bright? Full just look how dumb of a kid must I have been, but staring oh, three centimetres away from a light bulb, staring at it, but <laughs> and literally I was such a mess, but my mouth was open and I dribbled on it, but because my, my my jaw was just hanging open, but and I just dribbled on a light bulb and it exploded in my face, but and I still to this day have a scar in my eyebrow, but in my eyebrow, that's how close it was. I've just glass shards stuck in my eye. But I remember my like, says, Mom! My mother, like, yanking glass out of my face, but... Imagine that, but up? imagine if I was, like, 20, you know, just like, oh, why are you blind to what I said? Nah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I'd, all right, I've got a better one than that, though. I, did, I, I nearly blew my fucking hand off. Check this, right? I must have been about, I don't know, like, seven... Um, and, uh, right, you know, when you go to school, you get them like, uh, you know, uh, uh what's it called? A protractor, you know, with a pin in and they put a pencil in. Is that a protractor? Yeah, no, yeah. I'm thinking of a compass. It's something like that. Yeah. No, a compass, yeah, right? protractor is to measure angle. A compass is to do a yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protractor and compass set. Anyway, a compass I'm thinking of. Yeah, but you draw the circles anyway. You know what I mean? You put the, you put the pin in the paper, the pencil, you do it around, you do a perfect circle. So, I, I, so obviously I had one of them, right? And um, there was this aerosol, <laughs> and uh, I can't remember what the fuck it was, like some WD-40 under the sink or something. It says on the side, pressurized container, do not paste. So I was like, well, what happens if you paste, paste this cunt? <laughs> so I've took, my, I've took my compass and gone, <laughs> dink, and put a fucking hole in it. It's like... And I walked up to my mum going, look what I've done. Like, I don't even know why I brought it to her. Like a fucking, like a, like a fucking, like a, like a bomb. Like, I'm just, I'm just walked up to my mother with a bomb. Like, like nothing. Like, what am I doing? Like, you know, you seen this? Like, and I literally am holding it up to her in my left hand. Like, just look at this. And she's like, fucking, like it was a grenade. Like, get, get down. She slapped it at my hand. Like, fair play to my mom. She's like throwing herself on it. Like. And it was just hissing and fizzing away and nothing happened. Like, but like she had a, I, obviously there was definitely a chance that I, as soon as I put that compass in, it just blew up and blew my hand off. Like, so I'm like, you, I could have been sat Rich, why you've only got one hand, a different one to talk about it. You know what I mean? And the, the sad thing is, obviously, like, we're laughing about these stories now about, like, we just dodged that shit. Meanwhile, some kids just get completely yeah, exactly. wrecked in, like, unreal, unlucky some circumstances. Some kid dribbled on a light bulb and lost both eyes, but somewhere in the world... <laughs> Man, I'm not, even, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about the kids that literally do nothing. They're just sat on a chair and then a breeze block just drops <laughs> on their head. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, they've done absolutely nothing wrong except just be on that chair at that time. And a brick has just fallen off a building. It happened in Newcastle, uh, the fucking... <laughs> of course it did. No, it did. There was this, um, you know, Get Carter, the film, with Michael Caine? Yeah. Well, parts of it were filmed in Newcastle. I think I think a lot of it was. It was a location shoot. And the old car park from Get Carter, where uh, at the start of the movie, Michael... Oh, no, it, well, sort of close to the end, actually, he throws a motherfucker off. One of the guys who was in Coronation Street or something, Ooh. Alf or something. He threw him. He threw. He throws him off the fucking top of the car park, right? So it's it's considered it, they were gonna knock it down because it's just crumbled away. Like no one's fucking looked after it, you know. But then Sylvester Stallone filmed the fucking remake of Get Carter and paid for the fucking council to keep this rotting 
decrepit car park open that no one can use on the ground. It's like of cinematic heritage. Well, anyway, literally chunks of concrete are falling out of it. It's in that bad state of disrepair. And I think that fucking... Because Sylvester Stallone helped keep this thing open, a fucking brick just fell out of that and just wiped someone out. Like, just fucking... <laughs> they were just walking along. Oh, look, there's that Get Carter car park. Wow. Yeah, it's still it's fucking... <laughs> Yeah, you've just been... Exactly. Stallone's like, hey, sorry, man. Goes visit him in the hospital. Like, hey, now you talk like me. Hey. Heavy, man. Hey. Yeah, I'm still on fucking steroids. It's about getting hit. It's about how hard you could get hit. <laughs> Yeah. Now listen, now listen. I've, been, I've been saying this for years. I've been yeah. saying this for years. Yeah. The goddamn government is dropping bricks from the sky. Oh, that's what, that was a good impression. I like that's that. That was, that, was good. that was good. It's not how hard you get bricked. It's <laughs> how hard you get bricked and keep on bricking. Like, all right, sound, man. <laughs> Fucking sound, Sylvester. Like, Brick you go get arrested with human growth all morning ago. I don't, you mad cunt. Like, anyway, yeah, like, fucking, so... It can't happen. So there's me and you. Like, I'm literally making bombs by accident at home. Like, ma, look at this. Like, <laughs> mum, it says, like, do not paste, but I paste it and nothing happened. Like, ah, Mr. Mike, do it! <laughs> oh, like, my fuck, God. Like, imagine, like, imagine, like, a fucking, what, you know, like, a, just a, your mum doing a fucking, like, full flying leap into a barrel <laughs> roll, like, diving on a grenade in your house. Like, it's fucking so mental. So mental. Oh, fuck. Like, so. In in the UK, when you do you guys have like um like bee poison like that comes in like a can and you like spray it on the thing right like on oh, there we, like yeah we yeah, got yeah, all ever. sorts yeah insecticides right, right. and fine, then like, and then right. like um like you know the uh, mosquito repellent that you like spray on yourself and it's got that really yeah. weird smell but it comes in like the same fucking can right like the same sort of thing <laughs> oh, no no, no, no <laughs> yeah. you haven't yeah, <laughs> no okay, you so haven't listen, listen listen so I was maybe like six or seven and uh, I I grew up like in an area where there's lots of woods, near water, lots of mosquitoes. So I was used to mosquito repellent, right? But I had never seen any fucking, like, bug repellent before. And I was at my friend's house. And I was, and I was at my friend... <laughs> I was at my buddy's house. And he lives in the city, and they had bees and shit. But I didn't, like... I never, you know, what? I just didn't know. I was, like, six. And I didn't know what it was. And I just saw it, and I was like, oh, fucking mosquitoes. Like, I'm going to get bit by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes fucking love me. I'm going to take this shit. And I sprayed it all over my arms, oh. all over my legs. <laughs> and and all so over poison. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I did, and and I and I and I still remember, and I, and, and I remember this because because my because my, my friend he knew what it was and he was just like yo I don't think you should. Do that. And, uh, and I was like Sam, Davey, I don't know about this one, Chief. I don't know. I've seen them use yeah. our pants, dog. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and I was just like, oh, it's fine. It's ju it's just mosquito yeah, repellent, and he was like, no, that's just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. I don't think so, bro. I, I don't think you should be telling me what to do. I'm smart. Okay, I'm not a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, so he went and told his mom, and he was like, "Hey, is it okay if we're if, just having a discussion here, mom? Just when you think to tune in." <laughs> no, he went, told, he went and told her, and he was like, "Is it okay if Davy rubbed this on his skin?" And she, and she, her eyes, she's like, "Why this so hot?" <laughs> just like, "No, come on inside, come on inside." And she brought me into the shower, and she was like, "Fucking, you need to like rub." And she, I had all like soap, and I was rubbing the shit out of my skin, and she like called like the local clinic and was like is he gonna be okay do i need to take him in like it was a fucking disaster it was, a disaster. It was so traumatic because i went from hella confident like this is fine this will be fine to oh my god am i gonna die like, <laughs> did i kill myself like, i was fucking terrified <laughs> Really, you should have come to post up like, out, like right? Santo crops, but like <laughs> this kid was covered in insects. I don't live. <laughs> you too can eat all the crops of me, sir. I'm fucking crying. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was a fucking disaster. <laughs> covered in poison. <laughs> It's like an origin story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's how he became Bug Man. <laughs> Ant Man, come on, man. Ant Man, you it. it was right there. Oh, yeah, it wasn't great. Uh, uh, and that was just the first uh, time. Uh, 
Oh, you fucking cunt, Davey. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, you fucking did the, mad cunt. Did the fucking poison have like a colour into it? I'm imagining, no, like, yeah, you're going to yellow, surge. Was I was going to say, like, when you're going to surge, you're going to say, 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 that even when he told me, I don't think you should do that, and I'm rubbing this yellow shit into my skin. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so arrogant and so confident. I'm like, nah, I know what this is. This is fine. This like, is bad. This is yellow, man. Yellow shit. You know, and I knew in my head, in the back of my head, too, I knew. I was like, I don't think this is fine. Like, I don't... <laughs> but I still just... But I was so... I, I couldn't back down. I was like, I've already said this is fine. I couldn't be wrong. I was like, this, this is... It had Damn. to keep going. Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, Davy, you fucking legend, mate! Fucking <laughs> just fucking rubbing poison in like three of us who should be dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I don't have any crazy stories, Dude, but I, I, it must I not be know. that poisonous, cause like I like I covered myself <laughs> in that shit, like. I don't know if it's just like yeah. bee poison or no, what the fuck. Like, I don't know the what it was. But it really well, the best thing is, well, it's just that fucking parent. Just come here a minute, Davey. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just get no, it. Oh, like, that wire. wasn't what she was like. She was freaking the fuck out. It scared the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's We're true. Like, like, she, you know, like, her eyes went wide as fuck. She was like, come inside, come inside. Quick, we need to get this washed off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, she was freaking the fuck <laughs> Blind out. Blind panic. I, and so I just so then so then I thought I was gonna die. Like I thought I like I thought I just killed myself. Like I was freaking the fuck out. <laughs> to be fair, so did she. <laughs> no, she no, I, I, no I, I remember even asking her like, "Am I gonna die?" She was like, "No, no, you're not gonna die." Like I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and you hear her on the phone, "Is he gonna die? Do I need to bring him in?" <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, she you, was calling you would people, just like... you would just hear in the background like the fucking like EMTs and stuff. There's a good chance he's gonna die. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that is the best story I've heard in fucking years. That is brilliant, man. Oh, I think that that's the so first good. time I've ever told that story to like anybody. I just forgot man. about it until you guys started talking about how you've almost killed yourself as kids. <laughs> and then it like, clicked in my head. I was like, oh my god, I almost killed oh. myself as a kid. Yeah, dude. Like, it's weird. You just forget that shit, don't you? You just forget yeah, all the time. Yeah, I never died. even like, thought about it. Yeah, fucking hell. I mean, shit, I didn't oh. walk till I was four, so fuck, I'm behind <laughs> all this shit. Sure, sure, were you were you fine. rubbing in fucking insect repellent when you were three years old? Eating slug pellets from age two onwards, <laughs> but held you back. In life. I was a lazy fuck. I yeah. can reach my toys. That's it. Just making them fucking fizzy. <laughs> fuck, you know, yeah, I should have made that insect repellent fizzy. Would have been all right. <laughs> 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 it's uh, when you said it was yellow, like his head you know, didn't what? good in life, no, yellow, no, like no, universal no, like, <laughs> Universal <laughs> warning fucking signs are in yellow for fuck's sake. Like in nature, wasps. Are no, yellow, you know, yeah. like I remember even like learning too, like like there was like those little one of those little poison symbols on it, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> but but I but I remember like thinking at the time, like, well yeah, it it, it kills mosquitoes. Obviously, yeah, like, they, 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 to them. Davey, weren't they actual skulls? Me. Like back then, the women's yeah, symbol yeah, was yeah, actually yeah. like a skull yeah, and yeah. crossbones. No, I know, like, I know, but I thought, but I thought, yeah, well, obviously, this kills mosquitoes. Of course, it's gonna have that. Like, I was super, oh, like, I was totally uh, rationalizing the whole thing in my head because did I had you already not even told get somebody sick that it was or anything. Fine. Like, did, no, did nothing, not... nothing. Oh, Seriously, shit. nothing. I don't know if the. If the washing it all off worked, I don't know if it just wasn't that poisonous. I don't, I mean, I don't it is, know. Here's what you don't realize. You're not you hadn't a have done that. You would have been the CEO of a big company by now and actually <laughs> shaved 40 <laughs> points off your IQ, but it didn't even tell you about it. Like They were like, it, there was another room where that that woman and a doctor were just going, he will be uh, actually behind <laughs> developmentally for the rest of his life now. It only affects the brain. It only affects the yeah. brain. This will affect yeah. his decision making growing up as, as, I dr as I dropped out of school to be a pro Counter-Strike player. My mom's like, if you just had enough fucking can rub the poison <laughs> into his skin. Oh my god. Slathering yourself in poison, man. That's just fucking oh, so fuck. unreal. That is the best. Like, you win you win the stories, dude. <laughs> you win the fucking stories hundred percent. I, I win those cried laughing for so long. I won them all. Fucking... The craziest thing I did as a kid was hold my grandmother hostage with a water hose. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, what do you mean? She was inside. <laughs> no, I, my house has three doors. 
my my grandmother was at the back sliding door. I got outside at three years old, grabbed the hose, and just every time she tried to open the door, I'd spray her. She didn't want to get wet. The two things my grandmother hated was getting wet when she didn't want to. Keep that in contact. <laughs> keep that in contact. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Almost there. And horses. So, <laughs> so I mean, unrelated, not, by the way. Unrelated. unrelated. By the way. It's not a hostage situation without demand. So I'm just putting that out there. Like, I was yeah. standing outside for three hours. She didn't use a different door. Like I was just outside. Fine. <laughs> That's it. She That's was looking for story. poison to rub on you, mate. That's what. <laughs> Thinking ways to kill him. Don't ever spray, damn it. <laughs>